Hey everyone, welcome to another one of Dave's top tips. Uh, Dave here, head of customer success at CX Experts. We do one thing and we do it well, and that's helping people around the world get the most out of Zendesk. So today <clears throat> I'm making a video in response to a couple of questions I've gotten uh, from people who are upset or worried about the fact that their agents are cherry picking and that the amount of time that they're spending to find the work that they need to do is wasting time and is contributing towards things like a first reply time, request to wait time and a full resolution time as well. And luckily for us, Zendesk has a built-in auto routing solution called Omnichannel Routing, which we're going to be looking into today. So what does Omnichannel Routing do? It basically says, okay, here's a whole bunch of settings available to you as an administrator. How do you want to dish out tickets? What channel do you want to dish out? How many do you want to dish out at a time? And how do we make these visible? So uh, I want to start just by going through some of the settings of Omnichannel Routing. If you go to your admin center, available on all platforms, by the way, all different plan levels. Uh, if you go into the Omnichannel Routing section into your admin center, you'll see number one, we have Routing Configuration. If we go into our settings here, um, we can do queue-based routing or group-based routing. If we want to do group-based routing, all this means is that if anyone in a specific group uh, in Zendesk, where, which has tickets, um, <clears throat> we can route to those people. And really what we want to start with is by looking at this tag over here, auto-routed. So how omnichannel routing works uh, in terms of an email is that we get to tell it which tickets we want to be automatically routed. So uh, there's a couple of triggers and views I want to share with you, but it is important to bear in mind that only tickets with this tag, auto-routed, will be eligible to be automatically routed to anyone who is in an online status serving the email channel. So very basic overview here. <clears throat> in terms of queues, uh, you can create separate queues to go to different people if you want to. I tend not to create these in the beginning and just let them dish out based on the group that they're in. And I tend to assign tickets to uh, different groups using triggers instead of using queues. Capacity rules, we are able to determine how many of each ticket someone can handle at a specific point in time. So I can say I've set default capacity for all the account uh, holders at the moment, but we can have different um, capacity rules for different people if we want to. Uh, for email, I've set it to 20, and this means that someone can only have 20 open tickets uh, under their name, at which point Omnichannel Routing will say, I'm not going to give you any more. And remember, an open ticket is one that requires attention. Uh, how many messaging conversations can we have at the same time? And how many talk conversations can we have at the same time? And then I've got agent statuses. Uh, and this is cool because we can track how long someone spent in a specific status over a specific amount of time. So it does come with four defaults, online for everything, away, transfers only, and offline. I've created a couple of other ones like lunch, meeting, training. Uh, and then <clears throat> I've got one for I'm doing everything. I've got one for I'm doing chats only. And I've got one for I'm doing email only. Uh, and then again, like I said, we can track how long someone has spent in lunch or a meeting or in training over a given period. And then idle timeout is basically just telling us uh, how long should someone wait? Uh, how long should Zendesk wait before putting someone either in an away status or an offline status? So in my case, I've got to set to 10 minutes. 10 minutes without activity in Zendesk will put the agent automatically offline and stop them from getting any work automatically routed to them. So a couple of small things that you have to do to get ready for omnichannel routing. Uh, it works pretty much out of the box for messaging. We do have a couple of options available to us. So we can prioritize tickets with a with SLA. Those will come first. Otherwise, it just goes, it just reads the oldest ticket first. Assignment method, we can look at high spec capacity or round robin. So does it go one, 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 regardless of, um, of the capacity rules we've set? Or does it look at, okay, this person has the most capacity. I'm going to assign them more work. I'm not going to go through these. Uh, you can have a look, they're quite easy to understand. Um, and then for messaging routing, we have a couple of settings here. That we can look at very importantly is the count and, counting inactive conversations towards an agent's capacity. We need to decide that before we go ahead with omni-channel routing. Uh, so I'm going to show you two triggers and two views that need to be edited for this to work. And then I'm going to show you an example. First trigger is uh, just a trigger, very simple, routable tickets. And remember, we had this tag auto-routed that Zendesk is looking for to route tickets to a specific group of people. Um, so in my case, I've got a trigger that says, if a ticket is created, add two tags, auto-routed and my new ticket. Uh, we can put a bunch of conditions in here. If you only want to route automatically to a specific group, you can you know, put in a group uh, 
condition like this group is and you can choose whichever group you want uh, but the action is the important thing here we're adding tags auto rooted and my new ticket and the second trigger i'm creating just so that we can differentiate between newly assigned work and everything else is this guy over here <clears throat> separating newly assigned so i'm saying if a ticket is updated the current user is an agent uh, and it contains the my new ticket tag just remove it and that's going to become important because of the views that we have set up for omnichannel routing in emails so if I have a look at this view, which is all my open work, it's open, I'm the current user. I'm going to edit it to say I don't want it to include any tickets that have the my new ticket tag. Remember, this was removed once an agent updates a ticket that's been newly assigned to them. Uh, and then the other view I'm going to set up is called my new tickets or my new email tickets, call it what you want. And I'm going to say the status category is open, the assignee is the current user, and the tag contains, in this case, my new Ticket. So let's have a look at an example here. I've sent in an, an, an example to our Lemon Electrics inbox. Uh, the request is Babu Frick from Star Wars, uh, one of my favorite characters. So here you can see this is a, a brand new ticket. It's in the new department emails group. I'm going to go online. And as soon as I go online, what's going to happen is that this ticket is going to move from my new department emails view into the my new tickets view because I have gone online. I could have gone online for emails only if I wanted to. I've chosen to go online for everything. So what this is going to do is move this ticket from my new department emails. You know, this is a view we technically hide from agents so that they don't cherry pick and aren't able to look at work they're not supposed to. This ticket is now showing up in my new tickets. It's not showing up in my open work. It's not there. Uh, but as soon as I go in and make any sort of update, in this case, I'm just going to leave an internal note called update. And I'm going to submit it. As soon as I submit it, <clears throat> what we're going to notice is that this ticket is still open, but it is no longer going to show up in this view over here because I have now updated it. It should now show up in my open view. Why is it not? And uh, let me just submit that. Oh, it didn't submit there. I'm going to submit it again. There, update. And what we can see is that the trigger would have removed the tag, uh, my new ticket, which means that it will disappear from my new tickets and go into my open work. There it is. Um, and that's just, this is just giving agents the, the opportunity to see their newly assigned work and the rest of their work so they can prioritize when to do new work and when to do current work. With messaging, um, we don't need views. These are just gonna pop up on the top over here. So if a conversation comes in, it's gonna route either on Robin or based on highest uh, available capacity. And an agent will have an opportunity to take it. We are in control of how long an agent has to take a new chat or messaging or WhatsApp ticket. In this case, it's 30 seconds. We can auto accept for an agent, in which case it'll just open up for them. Or we can just wait until one agent accepts the ticket. And then again, we have uh, the option to count inactive conversations where someone has been inactive on the ticket for more than 10 minutes. Uh, whether it's the customer or the agent, uh, and this will count towards the agent's capacity. Uh, in my experience, uh, I look to, to use highest spare capacity as an assignment method because it does distribute work quicker to those who are quicker at their work. If we do, if we do round robin, what it'll do is it'll go one, 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 one. So as a summary and as we wrap up, uh, very easy to set up omni-channel routing. Don't get confused by the documentation. I would recommend two triggers and two views. One trigger to add the routing tag and the distinguishing tag for new work versus all other work. A trigger that removes the my new ticket tag to separate it out. A view for my open and a view for my new tickets. If you'd like to know any more about omni-channel routing or the views I've used, or if you've seen something else that you like on my Zendesk account, uh, please feel free to reach out to us uh, at our website, support.cxexperts.co.za, uh, or, or pop us a mail, info at cxexperts.co.za. ZA. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Dave, Head of Customer Success at CX Experts. Enjoy omni-channel routing. No more cherry picking. <laughs>